Okay, guess facts. I am still down the weird experiments rabbit hole. Ba -bew -bew -bew! Most of these are not as horrifying as the last ones. Nikolai Minovici was a Romanian forensic scientist and criminologist. He is known for his studies investigating connections between tattoos and criminal behavior, as well as his research on hanging and its physiological effects on the human body. This research included performing multiple hanging experiments on himself, each lasting for about five seconds. He performed 12 hanging experiments on himself. He experimented with various positions of a knot around his neck, observing the associated phenomenon such as vision disturbances, change of skin color, ringing in his ears, as well as the speed of the onset of these symptoms, depending on the position of the knot. He also performed choking experiments on volunteers by applying pressure on their carotid arteries and jugular veins for up to five seconds until the faces of his subjects became red. During their post-experiment accounts, the volunteers recounted experiences such as vision problems, heat sensations in their head, as well as tingling and numbing in different parts of their bodies. In 2003, researchers and the Sony Computer Laboratory tried to find out whether dogs would accept Sony's commercial dog bot, Ibo, as one of their own. The experiment resulted in a formal scientific publication called Social Behavior of Dogs Encountering Ibo, an Animal-Like Robot in a Neutral and in a Feeding Situation. Rolls off the tongue. 24 adult and 16 four to five month old pet dogs were tested in two situations where subjects encountered one of four different test partners, a remote controlled car, an Ibo robot, an Ibo with puppy scented furry cover, or a two month old puppy. In the neutral situation, the dog could interact freely with one of the partners for a minute in a closed area in the presence of its owner. In the feeding situation, the encounters were started while the dog was eating food. Results showed that age and context influence the social behavior of dogs. The answer to the question, will real dogs accept a robot dog as one of their own, especially when eating, was a resounding fuck no. The Common Cold Unit, or Common Cold Research Unit, was a unit of the British Medical Research Council which undertook laboratory and epidemiological research on the common cold between 1946 and 1989 and produced over a thousand papers. The study was popular with students because they got to stay in a spacious flat fully equipped with books, games, radios, and telephone. It was the 40s. And they could play table tennis, badminton, or golf. They even got paid three shillings a day. The students were instructed to maintain a distance of at least nine meters from all unprotected persons other than their flatmates. Sounds easy enough, but the experiment began when the participants spent half an hour in a drafty corridor after taking a hot bath. They had to wear wet socks for the rest of the day, and they were infected with the nasal secretion from a cold sufferer. To everyone's surprise, the experiments demonstrated that the common cold had nothing to do with cold temperatures. Sleep researcher Nathaniel Kleitman wanted to find out if the human sleep-wake rhythm of 24 hours was a habit changeable at any time or whether people had an internal hardwired body clock. He found a location where there was no difference between day and night, a 20 meter wide, 8 meter high rock chamber in the Mammoth Cave in Kentucky, where he and his student Bruce Richardson decided to try out a 28 hour day. They would sleep for 9 hours, work for 10 hours, and have 9 hours of downtime. They spent 32 days in the cave. Imagine! Imagine! Having a professor say to you, hey, do you want to come live in a cave with me for a month? No, sir. That's how horror movies get started. Richardson adapted, the student Richardson adapted to the new cycle after just one week. Kleitman, who was 20 years older, failed to adapt.